And we are following breaking news out of the NFL where free agent wideout Jarvis Landry signing with the New Orleans Saints. He put a, a little post on social media just a few minutes ago saying who dat. It will be a one year deal. That is for multiple reports. Landry has spent the past four seasons in Cleveland racking up over 3,600 yards from scrimmage, 19 touchdowns. He will join a Saints receiving core that includes Michael Thomas, hopefully healthy for the beginning of the season. Also, first-round draft pick Chris Olave out of Ohio State. The Saints moving up in the draft to grab Chris Olave. They are taking a look at their wide receiver depth chart there. Uh, we mentioned Michael Thomas, Chris Olave, and now Jarvis Landry in the mix as well. Let's welcome in part of the Pick 6 podcast our good friend John Breach here. John, you were telling me before he came on um, that he actually visited the Saints before the draft. What's your reaction to this? Yeah, if you would have told me the signing was going to happen a month ago, I wouldn't have been surprised at all because the Saints are one of the most wide receiver needy teams in the NFL. But telling me it happening right now today, it is a little bit surprising because it looked like nothing was going to materialize between the Saints and Landry uh, after the draft because of what the Saints did during the draft. As we know, uh, they traded up from 16 to 11 to grab Chris Olave. And so that felt like they filled their main need at receiver, knowing they would go into the season getting back a healthy Michael Thomas uh, and obviously having Chris Olave in the fold. And now you throw Jarvis Landry in there. So this team goes from uh, wide receiver being one of their biggest needs in March. And here we are on Friday, May 13th. And if Michael Thomas comes back healthy, that's a pretty strong top three uh, of your depth chart at wide receiver. Jarvis Landry is a five-time Pro Bowl. He's had some huge seasons. Did deal with a few injury problems during his final season in Cleveland last year. Uh, but this is a great addition, and I'm sure Jameis Winston is licking his chops. And also, this sends uh, Jarvis back to Louisiana, because as we all know, he went to LSU. Yes, he went to LSU. He is from Louisiana. A lot of welcome home tweets right now on social media for him. I'm sure he's excited about that. Uh, when you mentioned Michael Thomas, we're hoping that he's going to be healthy. Right now, the Saints are saying he's He's doing well in his recovery. Does this worry you at all about maybe his recovery or maybe something going on behind the scenes when it comes to Michael Thomas or some of these receivers? Uh, well, I think the whole Michael Thomas situation has been weird since it started last offseason. We keep getting these little tidbits of maybe he'll come back and then, oh, no, there was a setback. Maybe he'll be back midseason. You know what? He's actually out the entire season. And so here we are playing that same game in 2022, which is a little bit weird. Uh, but he does still have four more months to get healthy before the season starts. So uh, for right now, I would believe what the Saints are saying. And again, if he's back healthy, that's a pretty strong uh, top three you have if you're the Saints at receiver with Olave, Jarvis Landry, and Michael Thomas. Obviously, in the NFC South, you got the Bucks there. You got Tom Brady coming back. Now, if we get a healthy Michael Thomas here and we now have Jarvis Landry in the mix, does this move the Saints at all in how you feel they can do in that division? Well, I thought they were maybe the second best team, probably the second best team, but this does make me feel like definitely the second best team because there were some offensive questions. And look, we know Jameis Winston loves to sling the ball. And so he is a guy who, who is looking at this wide receiver room right now thinking, man, maybe I can talk uh, Pete Carmichael, the offensive coordinator, let me throw the ball 40 times a game. Uh, but the good news for the Saints is they don't have to. They have Alvin Kamara, and now that they feel loaded, on paper with their receiver receiving depth chart uh it does feel like this offense got a lot better and they're a solid number two team in that division 29 years old he'll be 30 in november in the middle of this season he's dealt with a couple injuries over the past couple years what sort of production do you think we can see from him this season yeah look if he is healthy there's no reason he can't have a huge year like i said he's a five-time bro Pro Bowl, he has had multiple seasons where he's gone over 1,000 yards. He has been productive almost every year of his career. He did miss five games in 2021, and so that is a big question mark. Uh, it is his health, uh, but there's no reason to think that that is something that's going to be continuous. He's not a guy who gets injured a lot. He was pretty healthy throughout his career before 2021. Uh, so as long as he's on the field for all 17 games, there's no reason to think he can't put up uh, some impressive numbers with the Saints. I was just trying to look over the schedule. Saints at the Browns on December 24th on Christmas Eve. All right, John Breach, thank you so much. There you see it uh, when Jarvis Landry will be visiting his old team week 16 there. Saints needed at the wide receiver position a couple months ago. That is not the case anymore.
Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.